now, the people who have brought you the magic of Hollywood for over 75 years want to bring it to you like no one else can. To take you inside the heart of a working motion picture and television studio to watch real filmmaking in action and share the secrets, the spectacle, the glamour that have made not only great entertainment, but entertainment history. Universal Studios Florida, premiering in Orlando, spring 1990. It's the greatest Hollywood production ever. Joseph Nolan, who's uh, Mr. Right. Nolan's uncle, and he'll be celebrating his 70th birthday and his 45th anniversary of this Saturday with his family. Well, congratulations. Cordis, yes. Cordis McCallum and Cooley, no person was ever honored for what he received. Honor has been the reward for what he gave. Well, thank you so much for that, and thank you, Mr. Nolan, for a nice quote, and congratulations to the good father. It's seven minutes before nine o'clock, and right. it's Brooks and Dunn. I'll bring your baseball cap around to... Join us. Celebrate Uncle Joe's 70th birthday and 45th anniversary to the priesthood. Looks like we're going to have a sentimental journey, Uncle Joe. Sit back and relax. Happy birthday, Uncle Joe, and happy 45th anniversary in the priesthood. Sit back and relax as we take you on a sentimental journey. We'll be visiting some of those old, familiar places, and looking at some familiar faces. stop on Jeroleman Street will be 39 Jeroleman Street. As I understand it, this is where the family lived up until 1919, when they received money from Uncle Jack's untimely death in World War I. 
They were able to move up the block 69 kilometers. Here you see your brother and your nephew Sean talking to a couple of the locals as we admire the work that has been done on, 60, on 39 Jerusalem Street. And here I am looking for the date of the building as Uncle Gerard is the historian and there it is, 1844. London. Mrs. Davis immediately asked for Aunt May Conway as we're talking in front of 59 Jerusalem Street. All right, let's see if you recognize this view. Here's the back of 69 Jerusalem Street overlooking the church. And we'll see the building here. As we take a look in at Sean, the housekeeper, and Uncle Gerard as they view the backyards of Jerusalem Street. And here's the window looking overlooking Jerusalem Street from the front. Nice job on the cleaning. And Uncle Gerard is scraping his feet. God take my arm. I'll never you. And here's the front of Jerusalem Street as we zoom in on 69. Left me on with this nice, bright, shiny yellow door. I know that it's a door that How Aunt Francis I loves. And here's a view of uh, New York skyline from the Brooklyn Heights Promenade. The By the way, Uncle Joe, does this song evoke any memories? A bungalow in the country, a large porch on a rainy summer day with some of your friends, Joe Marabito, Charlie Gardner, and some of the ladies, Marion Marabito, Marion and Madeline Green, and Justin Spellman. I understand the girls decided to teach the boys to dance. And apparently this was the record that was most used. As I understand it, unfortunately, one of the girls came back with a bloody toe. Was that you, Uncle Joe? All you took, I gladly there's nothing left for me to say. And here is St. Charles Church. We'll get proof positive that you are in fact a priest as we went into the directory and took a look at the church book. And there you are. Take my arm. I'll never use and here we are at the Bossert, and uh, it's now being taken over by the Jehovah Witnesses. And apparently they did such a nice job in fixing it up that we had to come in there and shoot the ceiling and the chandeliers. I understand there have been some Nolan receptions within this building. Fortunately, we couldn't get back into the rooms. That once was my heart. Oh, why not take off of me? And here we are in front of the Assumption Church. And apparently this is the church in which you were ordained. And here is Cathedral High School, now known as Cathedral Condos. Again, Uncle Gerard asking me to zoom in on the date of the building. With 
the inside lobby. And here we are on a beautiful spring day at Sacred Heart Church in Cambria Heights. And this is where your education all got started. Public School 203. And here we are on 56th Street. And see, we can evoke even more memories as we zoom into the door. With Francis, Maureen, Kevin, Gerard, and your mother. Hey, where's Bob? There he is. And here's your dad. With Francis and Kevin. Uncle Joe, where are you going here? With the Marabitos and Leroy McMullen. I think you're on your way to the seminary. Out in Huntington. And here we are. These shots were taken by Mark Janiszewski using David's camera. Why must I live in dreams of the days I used to know? And sent to me by Claire. Why can't I find real peace of mind? And return to the long ago Where the blue of the night Meets the gold of the day Someone waits for me And the gold of her hair Round the blue of her eyes Like a halo and a And here we if take a look at the ground. And I understand somewhere out there there's a tree with your name on it that all of a sudden jumped in the way as you were sleigh riding down the hill. Well, after a long day of shooting, Uncle Joe, I decided to stop at Reese Park. However, I understand that it's a little bit different than when you and the family had gone there. Oh, I'll say it's different. My, my, my. I'm on my way back after a long day of shooting. But there's something I think I forgot. I'm trying to remember. Another church that I think I should go back and uh, take a shot at. If I 
If only I could And it's the same church. My dad took a shot of so many, many years ago. Would be Mary, Queen of Hearts. Where the blue of the night meets the gold of the day. And now an updated version. Uncle Joe, I hope you enjoyed this little trip down memory lane. There's still more to come. A little church jeopardy, some greetings, and a photo essay. Okay, Uncle Joe and the rest of the family, it's now time to play Church Jeopardy. See if you can guess the inside of these churches and Uncle Joe's affiliation with them. Here we have our first church for $10. Have you guessed Mary, Queen of Heaven? You are absolutely correct. Our next church for Let's lighten up the view inside here so we could give everybody an equal chance. And if you had guessed St. Charles, you were absolutely correct. Our next church now is worth $30. And this church is St. James in Red Bank, New Jersey. I just thought I'd throw that one in there. This next church is worth $70. We'll get one more view. And this is the Bishop Church where Uncle Joe was ordained. And our last church for $100. Any guesses on this one? This is the Assumption Church. Well, that concludes our Church Jeopardy. Please add up your totals. Uncle Joe, you have some very shy brothers and sisters. However,
driver. I looked far and wide to find the perfect Ann Maureen for you. And here she is. Ann Maureen, how are you? Being a great brother. I know that you always have been a bit perturbed that you never seemed to get a cake on your birthday, but I hope that today's celebration will make up for it. Besides, I couldn't help it that strawberries are in season in June, not in April. Again, congratulations and enjoy today's festivities. Tony. Pear. Happy birthday, Joe. Well, there are many stories I could tell about you. The one I remember most is when you borrowed Uncle Tom's car and it caught on fire. Anyway, enjoy your day, and thanks for everything. Well, there's Aunt Frances. Hi, Joe. I just want to say you've been a great brother and a great friend over the years. And the one story I remember most is when you took Uncle Tom's car and it caught fire. We all thought that was pretty funny. Happy 70th birthday. Thanks, Aunt Francis. Have a great day. Welcome to the Star of Grill Nights. We're here part of the segment that deals with Father Joe when he lived as a youth in Brooklyn Heights and 69 Jerome Street. It's a beautiful day here. And this is all part of Rao's production. You know, Go right through. Go right through. in life, many things will come to an end, and some things will eventually fade out, for example, even friendship. But brothers and sisters are forever. And they impact on us one to the other, our shared history with each other. And Brother Joe was probably a very significant part of the Nolan family for us, probably because he was the oldest. Ralph had said, would I say a few words, and he said, maybe you have a funny story to tell about Uncle Joe. Well, Ralph, there's nothing funny about Uncle Joe. <laughs> There's nothing funny. I mean, in the same sense that uh, Christy Nolan Henso is funny, or uh, Mary Nolan De Bonus is funny. I, I I don't see Joe in that light. Uh, I see Joe though as a warm, loving brother, very supportive, uh, the pride of the family, uh, always there for everyone. Uh, a fella that last Sunday at church, I guess you would call him the lecture, brought out that he does things in a low-key way. Uh, Joe was always there. And, uh, just a joy and, and gave everyone a sense of uh, belonging and, uh, and pride. So we salute Joe and Raoul will be taking shots of the Brooklyn Heights area. And we're gonna go to different events that were part of Joe's life. Uh, just wanna bring out the point that, the way I understand it, Joe and Bob lived in this house when they were two, three, four years of age before they went to Flatland. And then we all came back to the house. Uh, for further information on that, read your family history trees. Over and out. Birthday, and I was just telling is it your nephew here? Yeah. That it, it probably looks the same now, that, like it did when you were coming back, and when you were here in the 30s. I'm sure they didn't change it much. Maybe a little paint job, but that's about it. Fantastic. <laughs> and like he's giving the sermon. And this is that's your si this is your sister? Pardon me? Your sister's here? No, no, I don't even know this lady. Oh. <laughs> no, she has kids that go to school. You, but can I tell them, tell them his name? There's well, Joseph Noah. Oh, yes. Father yeah. Joseph Noah. Well, no, no, no. See, there are old Belgians in there. Okay, you know, I, I, think, I think he became the... Yes, go right ahead. Oh.
Introduce yourselves. Uh, your name, man. Loretta Flynn. Loretta Flynn. Let's speak up now. In Mary the back. Bogle. Mary Bogle. Cecile Noonan. Cecile Noonan. I want to be a I Siri, I hope. All right. Very humble person. <laughs> <laughs> She's not too okay. Okay. Well, okay. That was very nice. Thank okay. Thank you. Go. Uh, when do we get the picture? All right. They're 25 cents. Okay. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you. 